Hello friends, so today we are going to see how we can use PowerShell to add or update the registry key. It will also add a folder into the registry. So we have a three computers in our lab. You can see here. So we are going to add text folder into this path and inside that again we are going to create a new another text folder. Okay, and then we are going to use the script to add a multiple registry key in a different folder okay so let's see how this work okay so here the whole script is there what i'm going to show you so let's try one by one so here it's a create a folder inside the registry okay so i'm adding the uh, key to my uh, domain controller also. so let me show you that uh, this time i have added uh, domain controller so into the computer list okay so i can just quickly show you here okay so when i run the script it will do re key add and then this is the path of the registry key okay so while creating a add okay uh, giving the registry add command what it will do it will try to find out the path okay so whatever the path it will get upfrontly that it will create a folder which is missing okay so let me show you here okay so now uh, we are in the same structure okay here hot h local key local machine then system then current control set then control and uh, inside that folder we just have clicked on time zone okay so if i run this script okay it will create a two folder taste and the taste uh, inside that okay so let me refresh here you can see that the new folder has been created okay this one and this one and if i go and check on all the computer let me refresh here you can see the both folder has been created okay so this is how you can just create the multiple folder also for any directory structure in the registry so this is how you can just create a registry file right so let me again hide this key and enable the another one okay now if i want to delete that suppose okay this is the one way of creating a folder into the registry so let me show you the another way okay so let me delete that okay now deleting the registry will look for the uh, this file okay taste okay so i want to delete the whole folder so whatever the folder this folder plus inside that subdirectory will be deleted even it have a keys in it okay so let me run this again and successfully completed you can see here so let me go and refresh it and you can see the whole folder has been deleted okay you can see here okay but now this time we are not going to uh, run the directory creation uh, script okay so let me hide this here and now we are going to just create a registry key okay now let me explain you here so this till control we have a directory right but inside that there is no text folder and this text folder because it is inside this text folder so if like this text folder does not exist here in the registry so what we are going to do we are just going to create a run the script and it will automatically create this folder and this folder as well okay so let's see that now i'm running the script and you can see it is successfully completed so if i go here and if i refresh this page you can see here the alpha key has been created inside test and if i expand this again the test folder and the beta key has been created okay so this is how you don't have to run this also but if whenever possible it may you may have to use this so just for information just keep this in mind that you can create a folder inside the registry also in this way okay so now our folder has been created now i have to hide this okay let me hide now i just want to delete a registry key i don't want to delete a whole folder right so i want to delete only the key so uh, let me hide second one and will only enable this one okay no it is inside uh, that okay so alpha key is here so we have specified the path here whatever the path is there in the registry and then slash v means value what value you have to delete so i have to delete the alpha 
and then slash f is the force so forcefully it will try to delete this key so let me run this again okay it is completed successfully you can see here so let me refresh here okay in the test see you can see the key has been deleted it is the same on all the computer okay test the alpha has been deleted beta is there but alpha has been deleted beta is there but alpha has been deleted okay so let me now delete the second key i'll hide this command and will enable this one now if i run the script now it will try to delete the beta because we have specified the value here you can see the beta also has been deleted and it is on same all the computer you can see here it's not here on the third computer also it's not here so this is the way you can just delete the single registry key also from this script now suppose you want to delete a folder so you can delete by giving the folder path and suppose you want to delete the only the one folder or the subdirectory so i'm i have given here taste okay so what it will try to do it will try to find out this folder inside this folder and it will try to delete but suppose you give till this folder only then it will automatically delete this folder so the sub key also it will delete okay so uh, let me show you the whole key okay so I'll delete this and then I'll run this command you can see the successfully deleted so if I refresh now the both folder has been deleted the key and sub key okay so this is how you can just uh, delete the key uh, from the registry so this is the registry uh, value that you can create inside the registry okay so whenever you cl right click here and say key key means the subfolder will be created inside that so uh, here is the list of the key so whenever you select a key it will create a folder inside that value and uh, the string value is equal to reg underscore z and the icon will be like this so you can just memorize this table whenever you want or or else uh, whenever you see the reg binary so you can identify from its type also okay so suppose now uh, you want to update the registry value okay now suppose this key is already there okay now let me see whether our key is okay the key is not there so let me enable it okay okay so now it will create a text folder and it will add this key now inside the text folder it will create this text folder and again it will add beta key so let me run this script okay perfect so it have added the key okay see alpha has been created with value 6 and zeta has been uh, beta has been created uh, by value data xyz so it is in all computers so you can see here okay alpha and beta alpha and the beta so third computer also okay so the key has been created on everywhere okay now suppose you want to change the value of that right so you have to keep everything same or you if you are create like updating the new value that you haven't created so you have to identify the type here okay reg z and here we have reg underscore d vault okay so you have to update here otherwise it, if the key doesn't match type doesn't match then it will create a new uh, entry over there okay so once you create this you just have to uh, change the data okay v means value t means type 
D means data and F means force. So I'm giving here suppose 10 and in the XYZ I'm giving AB. And again I'll run the script. It has been successfully completed. So now see, uh, let me refresh it. You can see the value has been changed to 10. And here ABC, and it is on all the computers same. 10 and the ABC. Here, 10 and ABC. And on the third computer also, 10 and ABC. So in this way, you can just upload and uh, uh, add or update the registry key, delete the keys or delete the folder inside the registry. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can just put into the comment box. I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.